I'm Alex St. John, Nereid's Chief Technology Officer, and we're down here in our Tier Negative 1 testing labs today to demonstrate a new capability of Nereid's Ensolate technology. Uh, as you know, Nereid makes a product called Ensolate, which is GPU accelerated alternative to RAID. It makes individual storage arrays or local storage arrays extremely resilient to very large scales of failure by using extremely high parity erasure encoding across many, many storage devices at once. Today, however, we're going to demonstrate something new and exciting. We've been working closely with our friends at ThinkPark, uh, creators of the BGFS file system, to develop a distributed version of Ensolate that works not only on local nodes, but across many nodes simultaneously. So what we have here is our favorite Big Buck Bunny video. Uh, it's playing on this BGFS client down here on the floor. And that BGFS client video uh, client is pulling this video from all 10 of these uh, BGFS nodes simultaneously. So each one of these nodes has got one-tenth of the video stored on it, erasure encoded across them. Each one of these nodes is running an Ensolate array with a GPU on it that has got uh, 24 uh, SSDs inside the array uh, and able to handle any number of failures or an arbitrarily large number of device failures within the array. But today we're going to do something interesting. Uh, traditionally, if you're running a multi-node cluster like this, Notice that we have no HA failover whatsoever. None of these um, nodes are backing each other up directly, uh, such that if one of these nodes fails catastrophically, like that one just did, with a little tugging on the power cord, uh, all nine of the other nodes keep playing, and notice our video keeps playing, even though we just lost one-tenth of the data. It is not backed up. It has not got an HA failover node. What's happening is that some arbitrary number of these other resilient nodes the GPUs are kicking in, picking up the workload, and mathematically reconstructing the remaining video while pretending to be the missing node. So what happens is that even though Insulate is running locally and making the local drives on these nodes resilient, it's also making the distributed cluster resilient. So now I'm going to fail a third node at random here. And what's happening is any of the other seven nodes, when they see, when BGFS lets us know that one of the nodes has gone down, one of the other nodes picks up, puts up its hand, and takes over the workload from the failed node. Now in this particular case, we've demonstra we're demonstrating five node resilience. So in this case here, I pulled a fourth node at random. Any random five nodes can fail, and any random surviving nodes can pick up the workload. So in this case, we have 50% uh, uh, failover, or over half the nodes in this array can fail at random, and the cluster will continue to work. Now we had to use demo or test machines here because of course we like to break things in here in our lab, but we're working closely with our friends over at uh, Boston Limited to test uh, this solution on their BGFS scale boxes and also on their Igloo Nabari systems. So those will be hand tuned and optimized to run this solution on an extremely large scale at very high performance. And those will be available for commercial release at Boston Limited's discretion. We're testing them as we speak. So finally, uh, I said five nodes can fail. I just pulled the plug on five. Six nodes fail. Uh, was that six? Six nodes fail. And that should be, yep, that was the end of the video. So uh, what we did there is we did real-time parity or erasure encoding of uh, five, five erasure encoding across ten nodes. The GPUs, even though they're running the local storage array, are able to back each other up. So we also have a distributed solution in the same architecture. Thank you.